So I've got two things to talk to you about today. The bags that I just could not leave behind in the store. And also, I have a shoe unboxing for you. Hello, 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 and the warmest welcome to today's video. For those who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, glad to have you here. Those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoy my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, it's like your more personal content. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself, and of course, we are celebrating others. So before I get into today's video, let's show you the bag of the day, and it was a bright one today, because I just thought it was a great way to offset this outfit. I thought a pop of colour, really fun. I matched the watch as well, so I've got kind of the double yellow. I love this. This bag doesn't feature today. It probably could have done, but it doesn't feature because I didn't buy it at the time when I first saw it. So when I saw this one in the outlet, I couldn't leave it behind, but I did see it in store originally when it was kind of new in and I didn't buy it. So that doesn't feature, but I'm very glad to own this one. So we are talking about the bags that we just couldn't leave behind. The bags we just had to own. The bags that impulse control just became overwhelming. And I was tagged by the wonderful Dale at Dale's Addiction and the creators of this particular tag were Candy Sweet Love for LV, Fuchsia Floyd and Lux Lover Sarah. So definitely we'll link their channels below. Go and check them out. I love a tag video, like Dale said, because you get to you get to meet new people, you get to interact with new channels who have really interesting points of view, who have great collections or a great take on a topic. And I really love that about this particular community that we're all a part of and that we all engage in. So we'll do this first and then we'll go to the unboxing. No, let's do the unboxing first. Let's do the unboxing. So, this is a pair of shoes. They are Kurt Geiger shoes. And they are a pair that I very nearly didn't learn my lesson with, with the first ones, but I'll talk to you about that. So, there we are. KG Kurt Geiger. So, you've got Carvalho, you've got KG Kurt Geiger, you've got Kurt Geiger London. This is a pair that I already own in another colour. And it is the... Hmm, different. Kurt Geiger Wicked in the grey. I own these in white and I love them. This is possibly the most comfortable shoe I own. It is just fabulous and I love it and I love it. And I saw these and they do, they were selling them in, on Shoeaholics and they were a good price, similar to what I paid the first time. And they had them in grey or they had them in black. And I very nearly bought the ones in black. However, the reason I learnt my lesson from the last ones is because the ones that were in black had a white sole here and then black here. And what I've found with my other ones is that this has yellowed and the black here has rubbed onto the white here. Um, so, and that's fine because I, I kind of use them quite casually and it doesn't really bother me. But I thought I'd quite like these ones to be able to stay that little bit dressier when I want a casual trainer that doesn't look like it's kind of been through it. And those ones where they have scuffed against each other look a little bit like they've been through it. Whereas these, hopefully I won't have that issue. So I learnt my lesson. As much as I really wanted the, the black fabric and I loved the look of them, I thought, no, those will scuff, those will mark. So let, let's go with these. So I've gone with these. There are two in here. It's a great shoe. 
They do a version in the ladies' collection. They do a version in the men's collection. They are absolutely fantastic. I cannot recommend them enough. Um, I do really like them. And could I still maybe just get the other ones as well? I mean, I'd wear them. I mean, I'd wear them. So maybe I should, whilst they're there, whilst they're a decent price. Yeah, I should probably just get the other ones as well, shouldn't I? Anyway, that's enough thinking about that. So, what we came here to see, we came here to talk about the bags that we just had to buy. And these are ones that I just, yes, 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 I want it, I want it, click, add to car, or when I saw it in store. So, let's talk about the one that I bought it within 30 seconds of the email hitting my inbox. Number one, I've got five. This bag has been well documented as one that I find underwhelming, okay? It's a lovely bag. I wanted to love it more than I do. And I think it was because of how quickly I was like, yes, I want it. This, the, the, the email hit my inbox to say that there was a, this collection dropping. I saw this, I saw the rainbow longchamp and I thought that's perfect. It's in the large size, absolutely perfect. Called the Regent Street store because I couldn't get it online. I had to call the store and I said, I need the large top handle. There was a bit of a faff over which one I wanted. I don't know why it was so difficult, but it was in that moment. Um, but anyway, I said, yes, please send it to me. It arrived. I like it. I really do like it. This kind of slate gray canvas just doesn't really do it for me. I kind of wish that it was black with this. I think it would pop more, but... I really, really quickly went, yes, please, I'll take it. So this was one where impulse control was very, very quick. And yeah, I don't regret it. Just find it a little underwhelming. So be be conscious of your impulse control. Because I do love I, I loved it more when I first looked at it. And then the more I more I thought about it, the more I'm a bit like, meh. It's okay. One that, again, I had to really quickly have as soon as I saw it. I thought, that's very me. Um, and I've loved it ever since. My Kurt Geiger double XL flap in the graffiti. I love this. I love the print. I love the size of this bag. I love the fact that it's a flat bag. It's easy. It's practical. I just think it's a great piece. I'm going into London um, this week and I think this might come with me as my bag because it's just really easy. Throw it on your shoulder. If you do want to, you could always tuck in the handles and do somewhat of a clutch moment. Um, love the silver hardware. It's just a great item. I'm very, very fond of it. I'm really happy I bought it. This one's £249, I want to say. Um, £229. £229. And it, they are still available. So I do get people asking me, where did you get it? I got it from Kurt Geiger and it's still available. So you could still get this one if you wanted. I do really like it. I don't regret this one for a moment. So this was where impulse control and something I just had to have worked out for me. Another one that I still love, but I just don't use. But again, I had to have it. This was a case of wanting the collection but they didn't release anything in it so I made a, a bit of an executive decision that I would prefer to have something from the collection that was wrong than nothing from it. I don't necessarily know that's the right way to approach things but because this was £125 I thought it was okay and I thought I would use it sporadically and I have used it sporadically um, but on the whole it's an ornament. <laughs> Really? But what a cute ornament. I just wanted something that was nostalgic from this particular Pokemon collection. I didn't want one of the shoulder bags. Maybe I should have got the travel bag in hindsight. That was probably the better one for me to go for. But, you know, that that's fine. We, we live and learn. I love the fact that I own it. I love the fact that I can use it as an ornament. It's fun. It's playful. And I've used it a couple of times and it's enjoyable. It's it's a conversation starter. It's just a really fun way of cutting through the formality of certain looks. And that's what I think, I have something in mind for this. I have an event in February and I think this will be what I use for that. We'll see. Watch this space. You know I'll post an outfit if I do. 
And the last two are ones that I loved, love, love, and still use and still love. So we have the Longchamp Rousseau. And I love the Longchamp Rousseau. I rave about this bag. I think it's a fantastic bag. I think it's a fantastic work bag. I have mine in this canvas with the mock croc. I think it's beautiful. I really, really do. It's not no the color scheme that I would normally buy a bag in. Um, especially as it kind of has this wine red, which isn't my fave. However, it works really well. I've got lots of outfits I can wear this with. I could actually wear this really easily with what I've got on today. I think it's stunning. I think it's sophisticated, but I love that I've got mine in the canvas in the in this print. I walked into the store in at Vista, so this was an outlet purchase, but I walked in, saw it and was like, oh, that's good. That is good. But it was a little more than I wanted to spend. So I thought, Oof, I love it, I love it, I really want it. But I did the sensible thing, walked away and thought, let's go round and see if there's anything else that catches my eye, anything else. And there wasn't. So I was like, fine, if this is all I'm going to buy today, then fine, I can swallow the price. It's not that bad. I've subsequently gone on to spend a lot more on bags. <laughs> this was like, this was just starting me off. Um, but I, I did the sensible thing in thinking about it and I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I thought, just go and buy it, Nick. Go and buy it. So I bought it, spent the money, walked into MCM later, bought one of their bags as well. So I ended up completely obliterating my budget. But do you know what? It was my birthday, so if you can't do that on your birthday, when can you? But I just think this is such a fabulous bag. It's fun, it's playful, Longchamp's great, but I love that this can be kind of sophisticated, even though it's heavily logoed, it can be it can be quite sophisticated. And I do really like the Longchamp typography. I think it's fun. I think it's fun. Someone, I used this bag the other day and someone saw it on the floor oh, I thought you had one of those to your book totes in the oblique. I said, no, no, I don't. Um, they went, oh, yeah, no, I realised. But yeah, but I mean, yours is nice too. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate the feedback. <laughs> I love this bag. I think it's fantastic. And yeah, I'm really happy that I own it. Um, I, I recommend the Russo. Um, wholeheartedly. I think it's a great work bag. You just have to be prepared for the fact that it's top handle exclusively and if you're okay with that then it can be a great bag for you. And last but by no means least, you didn't think there wasn't going to be a mulberry on this list. My mulberry Bayswater Trippy Tiger. I adore this bag. I bought it from Luxury Promise and I saw it on the website and I thought that is fantastic. I really wanted a Bayes Water. i have been thinking about buying a Mulberry for a while, hadn't found the right one and I saw this and I thought, I love the fact that it's fabric. I'm a fabric bag person. I enjoy a fabric bag. Love the fact that it's in this blue. I didn't have much blue. Silver hardware, absolute win for me. I just adore everything about it. It's so, so fantastic. It's got blues in it, it's got green. I love the tiger print. I've subsequently added the Loopy Leopard Alexa. Oh, what a superb item. Isn't it just, isn't it just all kinds of fabulous and wonderful? I, I just think it's great. Absolutely. This is from 2013. Um, that's when they had this particular collection. Um, mine has scarves on the handles just to try and preserve that really beautiful kind of icy blue leather, but it cleans up really well when I go over it with a with a leather cleaner. Um, I, I just think it's such a great item. I had to buy it. I just had to. And I'm so glad that this was my first kind of foray into Mulberry. It started my love with the Bayes Water. I've subsequently got another. I went a bit off piste because then I've bought three different bag styles from Mulberry after that, but I will get myself back on track because my next one will be a Bayes Water. Which one in terms of the colour? I love that purple, but then there have been a couple of others that have caught my eye, so I'm now unsure, but I just think this is superb. So I'm really pleased that I own it. It's fun, it's different. I have seen one other person with one because they used a photo of me from my YouTube for their Vestia Collective ad. 
That's the only reason I knew that someone else had one. Um, and it was actually a subscriber who let me know that that was being used. And they were really good, Vestiaire Collective. I notified them. They took the photo down. Great. Um, it was a bit weird that someone did that. But more for me, it bothered me that mine is in good condition. Theirs was not. So the fact that they had some photos of mine, for me, felt really dishonest. Um, and I just didn't like the fact that someone might be buying something thinking it was different to what it was. That didn't sit comfortably with me. So, but I just think it's a great piece, great fun, very different, very playful. Fantastic, fantastic mulberry bag. So there we are, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you, Dale, for tagging me. This has been really great fun. I'm going to tag some people down in the comments and I'll put their photos up on screen as well so you all know who I'm tagging. But I've really enjoyed speaking to you today and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Mwah.